Good morning everyone! Welcome to our Hooray! It's Saturday worship service. So magandang magandang umaga sa inyo. Please do like and um, share our stream as well para uh, maka-join yung mga ating uh, kaibigan at mahal sa buhay. And uh, bago po tayo magnako at um, bigay papuri sa ating Panginoon, uh, we will take this time to uh, pray for every single one of us to pray for healing for those who are sick for those who are um, not just infected by this COVID-19 uh, or the virus, pero yung mga may uh, nararamdaman po, not related to uh, COVID as well. Okay, so uh, type po ninyo sa ating uh, message or sa ating comment section, kapag kayo po ay nangangailangan ng um, prayer request for healing, maybe sa sarili po ninyo o kaya sa uh, mahal po ninyo sa buhay. And um, we will be praying for that. Alright? So let me just start with this. Lord, we thank you for this morning, Lord Jesus, that we can come to you and um, lay everything to your throne of grace. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, at nandiyang ka parate, faithfully, and, and um, um, all by your mercy and grace, God, that we were able to be here and um, wake up every morning, Lord Jesus. Lord, we pray for everyone who's experiencing God flu or yung um, running, uh, running nose, Lord Jesus, yung um, cough, yung mga uh, sintomas ng COVID or ng virus, Panginoon. Pinagdarasal po namin ang bawat isa naway pagilingin po ninyo sila, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat dahil ang kagalingan, Panginoon, ay mula sa inyo at sa iyo lamang, Panginoon. Just like how you did it. With the woman, Lord Jesus, na uh, nagde-drain ng blood, Panginoon, for years. Okay? Na-touch lang niya yung iyong, iyong damit, Panginoon, at siya'y gumaling na. Same is true with all of us, Lord Jesus. Our faith, our faith, we will all be healed. Yung mga kababayan po namin, Panginoon, yung mga mahal namin sa buhay, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon. Maraming salamat sa kagalingan na iyong binibigay. In Jesus' name, Amen. And Amen. Okay, please do uh, comment yung mga prayers po ninyo. We'd love to pray for all of you. Um, pagdarasal po namin yan, babasahin po namin yan later on and we will um, a lot time to uh, uh, pray for that. And so with that, as we um, start our worship service, okay, um, uh, please do don't forget to uh, invite and share our stream once again. And welcome to our Saturday online worship A service sa mga kaka-join lang po. Welcome na welcome po kayo dito. And um, this is victory wherein we do two things. That is to honor God and make disciples. And so, let's start by a word of prayer as we worship God. Lord, thank you for this beautiful morning. We uh, come to your presence, Lord Jesus. Be with us, Lord Jesus. Nasaan man kami, nasa bahay man kami, or nasa um, labas kasi walang internet sa bahay. Lord, be with us for today as we worship you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Come on, let's worship our God. For the grace that is overflowing, for your mercies are new every morning, we worship you, God. We worship you, Lord. Come on, let's sing this together. This is the day of the beginnings. The old is passing. The change is coming by your Spirit. It's a new season of unveiling. Your word is true. the day of the beginnings the old is passing oh change is coming by your spirit it's a new season of revealing your word is true and you will never ever fail your presence will lead us always provide
that's true. Sing it out. He's never failed me yet. Oh, he's never failed me yet. My heart and my soul confess, God is my confidence. He's never you 
purchased my freedom when you conquered death to the ends of the earth until my final breath I'm yours everything
Truly, Lord Jesus, all things are possible in your name. Lord, everything, lahat po ng kailangan namin, lahat po ng aming dalangin, posible po sa pangalan ninyo, O Jesus. At ngayon pa lang, nagpapasalamat na kami, Jesus, dahil iyong ibibigay ito sa iyong um, proper timing, Lord Jesus. And with that, Lord, we want to wa- just worship you. We want to uh, glorify your name. We want to give you praise and honor you. Give you the highest adoration in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Okay, type po ninyo dyan, amen, and claim those things that are impossible in our eyes, which is only in the eyes of God is possible. And um, for sure, um, God loves each and every single one of us, so He will never withhold that. Okay? So with that, welcome once again to our Saturday online worship service. This is Victory, wherein we honor God and make disciples. And part of honoring God, we also dig deeper to His Word. We also dig deeper on who He is in our lives. Alright, that's why every Tuesday at 6pm, we have this Tuesday evening devotion. So please do mark your calendars, mark your, um, ano ba ba? mag-alarm na po kayo, mag-set uh, na kayo ng reminder ninyo. Every Tuesday, we will come in um, worshiping and um, in, in devotion, okay? Worship night. Every Tuesday po dito sa ating FB page, sa Victory Quezon Avenue Facebook page. And this is our heart to continue to anchor to God and His Word. Okay, we want to anchor our faith and devotion only to our Lord Jesus. Alright, so please do, um, again, mark your calendars through FB at saka sa ating uh, YouTube channel din. If you haven't liked our YouTube channel, please do like and subscribe our um, YouTube channel. Alright, and that is our hope through this, through the difficult times, through this challenging season. We will all be drawn closer to God and we can devote a time with our family to hear God's word and worship Him. So see you every Tuesday evening in our devotion time at 6 p.m. All right? And so as a church, um, this is our calling. Our calling is to reach out to the next generation because we believe in each and every young people. Okay? Sa mga kabataan po. We believe in each and every one of you. That's why we reach out to them because we know that they are the future leaders of our society. That's why we put high premium to, to their lives. And we endeavor to do whatever it takes to reach the campuses. To reach the campuses, disciple students or discipline students as well. And empower them to fulfill God's calling in their life. That's why we empower students for life. That's leadership, integrity, faith and excellence. And last year, we continued on catering our elementary, okay, yung kids through the help of our kids' church. So, um, thank you, Miss Apple. Shout out po sa inyo sa, uh, for opening the door for all of us in reaching out to the, uh, from kinder to grades uh, one to five. Okay, we're reaching out. We are empowering them for life. We don't want to wait na hanggang uh, maging teenager sila para lang i-preach yung gospel. We preach the gospel as young as they are. Just like what our Bible says, train up a child the way he should go. And that's what we are believing and doing as well. And also, we have this um, uh, a teacher's retreat as well last year. Wherein we uh, invite teachers from various campuses and then um, t- let them post for a, f- for a few hours and refresh them. In the word of God, of course. All right. Also, we have this um, campuses, new campuses. We're able to reach out, particularly in the area of Anonas, wherein we just launch again. Okay, so binert uh, uli natin yung Every Nation Campus Anonas. So please, if you know someone from Anonas area studying sa uh, WCC, sa Quirino High School, or uh, kahit anong school po doon, please do connect them with us. Send a message to us or kay Neil, who's leading Every Nation Campus, Anona, shout out sa'yo, Neil. Alright, please do connect them 
to us because we want to train them just like what we've said. We believe in each and every single young person okay, in this um, place. Alright? And also, meron pa ba ako nakalimutan? Okay. Ayun! Alright? So, um, please do. Connect them to us. Don't forget and also, um, pray with us as we reach out uh, in these difficult times. As we reach out uh, the campuses and the ne uh, next generation. And to know more about our Every Nation campus, let's watch this video. Even when the campuses remained closed in 2021, doors of the gospel continually opened in our midst. Here are the highlights of God's power at work in the lives of our students. Through technology, we held outreach events and inspired many students to share the gospel beyond physical limitations. These events were joint efforts between schools, campus missionaries, and students themselves. Last August 2021, we gathered students across the nation to worship, pray, and encourage one another to pursue God's calling and purpose for their lives. It's inspiring to see next generation leaders rise to the challenge and lead fellow students to the faith. Over 900 students were baptized in water last year alone. We've seen homes and families encounter Jesus together. We've also seen student leaders serve the community in a time of great need. While our world is recovering from a crisis, the next generation is continually being used by God, empowered by His Spirit to be His hands and feet. As schools and universities reopen, we are excited to bring catalytic change to expand our reach in every campus. Thank you for empowering our next generation to rise above its challenge. Your partnership inspires their faith and fuels their passion to change the campus and change the world. Together, we will change the campus and change the world. All right? So, um, ayan, may papakita si Iska quickly. Yan po yung uh, nangyari at ginawa po natin locally. That's locally. Here in Every Nation Campus, uh, Quezon Avenue or Victory, Quezon Avenue. And so, um, th on behalf of Every Nation uh, Campus Philippines and Every Nation Campus Quezon Avenue, I want to take this opportunity to thank every single one of you who um, continuously pray and support our endeavor in reaching the next generation. Please do continue to hold the ropes with us as we do this. Once again, we will change the campus and change the world. For our tithes and offering, let me read to us Matthew chapter 10, verses 7 to 8. It says here, As you go, proclaim this message. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. Freely you have received freely give. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity as well that, that we can worship you through our tithes and offering, Lord Jesus. Lord, receive our tithes and offering as a, an act of surrender of, of, of our finances, Lord Jesus. Lord, may you give us um, uh, the, the uh, desires of our hearts, Lord Jesus, as we come to worship you through our tithes and offering. Lord, breakthroughs. We declare those breakthroughs we claim those um, financial um, recovery, God, in our lives, in our businesses, Lord Jesus. I speak that in each and every single one of us, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Every Saturday and Sunday, we are open here at Victory Quezon Avenue. You can um, drop by your tithes and offering from 10 a.m. to um, 3 p.m., but uh, we, we highly encourage every single one of us, to use the um, online giving um, for us to, uh, kasi, di ba, maraming virus ngayon, yung Omicron, okay, for us to be safe as well. Alright? Kayo rin po, para hindi na po kayo lumabas. We encourage you to please give online through our giving page, victory.org.ph slash give. And even through our missions, um, Every Nation Campus or Real Life, you can give it 
online. God bless everyone as you give. Hooray! It's Saturday! Isa pong napakagandang araw po ang pagbati ko sa ating lahat. Ako, ako po ay masyadong natutuwa, nagagalak sa panahong ito sapagkat nagsasama-sama na naman po tayo upang, of course, matuto po sa salita ng ating Panginoon at syempre, pagpalain po tayo ng Diyos sa oras na ito. So we are all excited to receive the Lord's blessing. Time ni po dyan, Amen. Amen po tayong lahat. All right. So we have to ano be engaged, be involved in our worship service today. Ako po uh, masyado po akong masaya talaga sapagkat ramdam na ramdam ko po yung kabutihan po ng Panginoon sa ating bu- sa ating lahat. Amen. Sa kabila po ng meron tayong Omicron and all of this stuff. We're praying that one day magsama-sama na naman po tayo muli dito po sa center. So excited po kami na muli pong buksan ito. We're going to announce it kung kailan po po pwede na. Of course, tayo po ay susunod po sa patakaran ng ating gobyerno so that we can actually accommodate you here. Iba kasi kapag sama-sama po tayo, nag-worship kay Lord. But before that, gusto ko lang po sabihin, no? gusto ko lang i-reiterate yung sinabi ni Billy na napaka-importante po sa atin yung ating mga anak. We would like to disciple our children as young as they are. We don't wait for them to become matured o kaya naman maging matanda na because we believe that it's actually easier to mold a child than to repair a man. So gusto gusto po natin na disciple sila. So, Ibig po sabihin ito, gusto po talaga natin na tayo po dito sa Victory Crescent Avenue, we would like to train up a child in the way they should go so that when they grow old, they will not depart from it. Yan po yung ating heart and we believe that. So ibig sabihin po nito, be excited sapagkat hindi na po natin kinakailangan maghintay pa ng alas tres ng hapon bago po yung mga anak natin ay maka-join sa Kids Church. Kita nyo na, sapagkat sa February 6 po, February 6, mark your calendar. Nako, meron na po tayong alas gis ng umagang Kids Church online. Alright, so dyan po sa screen ninyo yung ating pong um, poster, screenshot ninyo, picture ninyo so that hindi po mawala sa inyong isipan. Ara right, napaka-importante niya po yan. So, ibig sabihin, meron na po tayong dalawang schedules starting February 6. 10 in the morning at alas 3 po ng hapon. So, we're doing the best that we can in order to disciple our children. So, except definitely, thank you rin kay Billy, si Billy Bukayo po for leading our kids' church. So, if you love you know, our kids' church, uh, and na-appreciate niyo po si Billy. Type niyo naman dyan, Billy, thank you. Lagyan niyo naman po, Billy, thank you. Alright? Tayo po ay mga, uh, we honor those people who deserve to be honored. Alright, so, now going back po sa ating pag-usapan sa oras na ito, which is yung preaching po natin, ito po yung pangatlo na po na installment ng ating pong series na entitled Abide. Ayan, Abide. It, I like the word. Kasi it talks about us abiding to the Word of God. Alam po ninyo, ang ating pong vict- you know, church, ang victory, or every nation in the whole world, eh masyado po nating pinahalagahan talaga yung importansya, no? yung kahalagahan ng salita ng Panginoon. And that's why gusto po natin na tayong lahat na nananampalataya sa Panginoon dito po sa ating iglesia, sa ating samahan, sa ating mong sambahan, sa, sa iglesia talaga, no? sa, sa victory, no? eh magkaroon po tayo ng ganoong marubdob na pag-ibig sa salita ng Panginoon, na mahalin po talaga natin ito. Alright? And that's why, ito pong abide, it has something to do with us or, or, the, or our movement. Calling each and every one of us, it's a call sa ating pong lahat para po magkaroon po tayo ng muling pag-ibig sa salita ng Panginoon upang ating pong pag-aralan, basahin po natin ito, at syempre, unawain, hindi lang po babasahin, uunawain natin. At syempre, pang-apat, anong gagawin po natin? i-apply po natin sa ating buhay. Amen? So, I hope that we are into that as well. Importante po ang kahalagahan ng salta ng Panginoon. That's why, sa simula po ng taong ito, ito po ang ating pinag-uusapan. So, remember, sa week one, si Pastor Ferdy, he talks about the Word who became flesh. And we know na si Jesus Christ po yun. And, last week naman, si Pastor Jerome Lagueras, napagaling po ng pag-preach niya na, no? Nag-i-enjoy po ngayon yan. Eh, anyway, si Pastor Jerome po, eh, ang ganda ng tinuro niya sa atin, yung Word, which is the source of life. Ang salita po ng Panginoon, talaga ang pinanggagalingan ng buhay nating lahat. Amen po ba? 
And today, pag-usapan po natin yung Word of God, the Word which is actually feeds our spirit. Okay? Feeds our spirit. Ang ganda, no? Yung salita ng Panginoon na bigay sa atin ng buhay and of course for our sustenance para masustain po ang, bu- ang buhay na ito, yung Word pa rin ng Lord ang ating pag-uusapan. Okay? So if you are all excited sa ating pong pag-uusapan na ito, I want to ask everybody no, na open your Bible Magbabasa po tayo sa John chapter 6 verse 57 hanggang um, 67 or 66 or 68. Okay, so if you have your Bible with you, basahin po natin ito. Yan, sabi po dito, okay, rehearse. Yan, Jesus said, nasa na ba? Fifty-seven. As the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever feeds on me, he also will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like the bread the fathers ate and died. Whoever feeds on this bread will live forever. Jesus said these things in the synagogue as he taught at Capernaum. When many of his disciples heard it, they said, This is a hard saying. Who can listen to it? But Jesus, knowing in himself that his disciples were grumbling about this, said to them, Do you take offense at this? Then, what if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit who gives life. The flesh is no help at all. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But there are some of you who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the beginning who those were who did not believe, and who it was who would betray him. And he said, This is why I told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by the Father. After this, many disciples turned back and no longer walked with him. So Jesus said to the twelve, Do you want to go away as well? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for this wonderful day that we can listen to you and learn from you, Lord. God, may we learn how to feed on the bread that gives life to our spirit. This I ask in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Okay, so yung binasa po natin, ito po yung storya kung saan po it took place right after Jesus Christ fed 5,000 with five loaves and two fishes. Remember the story? So, yan po yun. Tapos, nung, at time na yan, nung pinakain po ni Jesus Christ yan, eh, syempre, ang dami nun. 5,000 men pa lang po ang binilang. Ibig sabihin, ba't yung men ang binibilang? Kasi nga, mga lalaki, lakas kumain eh. Alright, so sila pa lang, 5,000 na, eh, how much more? Asawa pa nila, tapos mga anak nila. Now, after ng pakainin, nung gabi na, sa, bago dumilim, si Jesus Christ, pinapunta niya yung kanyang mga disciples to the other side of the sea. Remember the story? To si Jesus Christ, nagpa-iwan. At siyempre, wala nang bangkang na iwan doon. So nakita ng mga tao na, oh, wala na bangkang na iwan. Ibig sabihin, si Jesus Christ, wala nang sasakyan patawid sa kabila. And so, andito lang si Jesus. Yun know, know, ang inisip na, andito lang si Jesus, okay yun. Di baling wala disciple, di baling wala sila rito, basta andito si Jesus Christ, okay tayo. And so, they encamp there. Kaya lang, hindi nila alam, nung gabi, di ba si Jesus Christ sumunod din, hindi po siya sumakay ng bangka. He walked on water. Remember the story? At syempre, nakita ng mga disciple, si Jesus Christ was, were actually was walking on water. Ngayon, pag gising ng umaga, kinaumagahan, yung mga tao nagtataka, ha, wala na si Jesus dito. Asa na siya? Siguro umalis na. Pero paano umalis yun? Eh, walang bangkang na iwan ha. Hindi nila alam na naglakad sa tubig si Jesus Christ, di ba? And so, ang ginawa po nila, sumakay din ng bangka, pumunta doon sa other side of the sea. Now, Pagdating po doon, nakita nila si Jesus. Ah, dito na, di ba? Uy, Lord, dito pala kayo, Lord. Ang bilis nyo, ha? Paano kayo napunta rito? Dito na pala kayo, okay? So, alam naman natin, itong mga taong ito, sumusunod lang kay Jesus Christ, five, more than 5,000. It's because, eh, syempre, libre yung pagkain, eh. Libre yung tinapay. Isang ka pa, di ba? So, meron pong feeding program. And that's why they're following Jesus Christ. And on this moment then, kung bakit din po nagpakain si Jesus Christ using the bread? Because si Jesus po, eh, merong gustong sabihin lesson na gustong ipaunawa sa mga sumusunod sa kanya, sa mga disciples na ito. Ano yung lesson? Na siya yung bread of life. Ito po yung pag-uusapan po natin. That 
brings life to each and every one of us. And so that's why I want to ask this question. What did Jesus mean when He said, He is the bread of life that we should eat? Yan. Okay. So, remember, ah, pinakain ni Lord yung mga tao ng tinapay at dahil sa tinapay na yun, yung mga tao ngayon sumusunod kay Jesus Christ na okay ito, pinapakain tayo, libre. Hindi tayo magpapagal. Hindi tayo mapapagod sa trabaho. Feeding program, free. Okay? And so, using that bread as a metaphor na pinapakain ni Jesus Christ sa kanila, now, He would like to introduce to them a greater truth about better bread. Okay? Mas, mas magandang bread pa kaysa doon sa bread na yon. Kaya lang, syempre, hindi po maunawaan ka agad ng mga disciples yun. That's why pag-usapan po natin yan. Okay? So, tanong ko lang po sa inyo rito. Pag kayo po ba, eh, hindi nyo maunawaan si Lord, tatalikod po ba kayo sa Kanya? Ay- ayoko na kay Jesus Christ. Hindi ko siya maintindihan. Hindi ko siya maunawaan. Alright? Mamaya po, tingnan po natin kung paano po tumalikod yung mga tao dahil hindi po nila maunawaan si Jesus Christ. And so, that's my uh, discussion number one, which is the misunderstanding of many disciples about Jesus as the bread of life. Misunderstanding. Hindi po nila maunawaan. Sabi ni Jesus Christ, As the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever feeds on me, he also will live because of me. Tingnan po ninyo. Sino ba naman dito ang hindi makakaunawa? Alright? Ito mga disciples, remember, sumusunod lang po kay Jesus Christ kasi nga, libre yung pagkain. In other words, they're just focusing on the material blessing. Alright, their minds are not set on the higher blessing, which is a spiritual blessing. Doon lang po sa material, doon lang po sa temporal. Now, si Jesus Christ, eh, nagsimula ng magsalita tungkol hindi lang po sa temporal blessing, but on spiritual blessing. At itong introduction niya. After nila mag-usap-usap, okay, after mag-usap-usap, basahin niyo po yung mga previous verses na kalagay doon na kayo naman, subusunod lang kayo sa akin dahil sa tinapay, dahil sa blessing, sinabi ni Jesus Christ yon sa mga tao. Anyway, But of course, gusto lang niya sabihin yun, para sabihin niya talaga, itong gusto niya sabihin na mas importante kaysa doon sa physical blessing. Sabi niya, as the Father, as the living Father sent me. So, with that pa lang, imagine niyo po ito, ah, kung paano po nalilito yung mga tao. Ha? Huh? Living Father sent Him? Tatay niya, nasa langit. Naku, kilala ko yan si Pete, kilala ko yan si Jesus Christ, kapitbahay namin yan, tatay niya si Jose. Nanay niya si Mary. Tapos sasabihin niya ngayon, tatay niya nasa langit. Ang labo, no? So, maring ganun po yung mga naisip ng mga disciples dito. Parang ang labo ni Jesus Christ. Oo nga eh, ba't di natin maintindihan? Sabi rito, pinadala siya ng tatay niya nasa langit. Eh, kilala, kilala, kilala ko nga yung tatay niya, si Jose. Naku, kabarkada ko nga yun. Sa kanya nga ako nanghingi ng pako. Pagkulang pako ko, karpentero din yun, katulad ko. Maring ganun, alright? So, that's, that's why, hindi po nalang maintindihan. At sinabi pa, ni, sinabi pa ni Jesus Christ dito, whoever feeds on me, Okay? He also will live because of me. Eto na. Lalong naagulo. Ha? Kakain tayo kay Jesus? Okay, tama. Pinapakain tayo ng tinapay ni Jesus Christ. Okay? Okay pa yon. Medyo for them, I think, katanggap-tanggap pa. Okay, we feed on Jesus Christ. In other words, provide siya ng pagkain sa atin. Ay, okay, sunod tayo. Sunod tayo doon. Maring ganyan po pagkakaunawa nila. Pero syempre, explain pa ni Jesus Christ yan ng totohanan pa, ng medyo mas malalim na. So this is the bread that came down from heaven, not like the bread the fathers ate and died. Verse 58. Kasi nga, ba't sinabi ni Jesus Christ itong tinapay na ito, referring to the bread na kinain po ng mga fathers nila in the wilderness in Exodus. Kasi nagtatanong yung mga tao kay Jesus Christ na, Sige nga, ako ikaw talaga yung Savior namin, Jesus. Bigyan mo kami ng sign. Ano yung sign na papakita mo sa amin? Eh si Moses, pinakain mga tatay namin eh. And so because of that, si Jesus Christ sinagot itong verse na to. Sabi rito, merong bread na mas importante, mas mahalaga pa sa bread na kinain ng mga tatay ninyo, okay, in the wilderness, kasi nga, namatay sila doon eh. Pero itong bread na dala ko, which is, I am the bread of life, kinilain po ni Jesus Christ yan, pag kinain ninyo, hindi kayo mamamatay. Yon, whoever feeds on this bread will live forever. Siyempre, kung ikaw ang disciple, sabihin mo, Naku, Lord, ganda ng pagkain, tinapay. Bigay mo kami niyan, Lord. Gusto namin yan. Kaya lang, dahil nga sinasabi ni Jesus Christ, ako yun eh. I am the bread of life. Not just just feeding on me, feed me. Kainin, eat me. Kainin mo yung katawan, katawan, yung katawan ko, kainin ninyo, at inumin ninyo yung aking dugo. Yan ang sinasabi ni Jesus Christ sa kanila. And so, 
On verse 60, ito na, sabi ng mga disciple, when they, when many of these disciples, many po ah, hindi ko konti, many of his disciples heard it, they said, this is a hard saying. Who can listen to it? Ang hirap nito, ang labo ni Jesus Christ, no? Grabe, no? Nababaliw na ba siya? Eh, sabi nga ni Moses, huwag tayong iinom ng dugo eh. Ito si Jesus Christ, ang tinuturo sa atin, cannibalism. Kakain tayo na ano, ng tao, si Jesus, yung kanyang katawan. Tapos yung dugo niya, inumin natin, what? Kadiri yun, no? It, it's gross. Maaring ganun po yung mga sinasabi ng mga disciples dyan. Kaya nga sinabi nila, nako, sinong pwedeng makinig yan kay Jesus Christ? Grabe, no? Eh, nababaliw yata ito, eh. Sasabihin niya, tatay niya nasa langit, at tatay niya nga si Jose, nanay niya si Mary, kailan ako yun, katsukaran ko nga yun, eh. Kachika, paano makausap ko nga yun? Tapos, sabi nga ni Moses, huwag inom ng dugo eh. Eh siya ngayon sinasabi, inumin natin dugo niya. Tapos yung katawan niya, kainin natin. Kadiri. So, dibali ng... O alam ko naman, naghihimala si Jesus Christ, nagpagaling sa atin, pinakain tayo and all. Yun okay pa yun eh, katanggap-tanggap yun. Gandang, you know, because of that, we'll follow Him. Kaya lang, dahil sa kanyang sinasabi, naku, hindi natin siya kayang pakinggan. Hindi natin siya kayang samahan. So, Ewan ko ba, kanya-kanya na to. Mamaya po, kanya-kanya na yan eh. Now, anong, anong sinabi ni Jesus Christ dito? Verse 61. But Jesus, knowing in Himself that His disciples were grumbling about this. Pati sila po, talagang ano eh, nag, nag-grumble na. Ano ba yan? Grabe naman itong sinasabi ni Jesus Christ. Sabi niya rito, Do you take offenses to this? Na-offend ba kayo dito? Kasi nga offensive, di ba yung pagkain nung pag-inom ng dugo eh. Sabi ni Jesus Christ, na-offend ba kayo dito? What if, okay, then what if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where He was before? Kung dito pa lang, sa simpleng teaching na sinasabi ko, na sinasabi ni Jesus Christ, na-offend na kayo, o kung baga naman, manghang-mangha na kayo, o kung baga naman parang discombobulated ng isip, parang bang mind-boggling na, hindi mo na maunawaan, okay? How much more, pag nakita niyo ako, na bumalik doon kung saan ako nagmula? Jesus Christ is saying, We have to elevate our enlightenment. Ang sinasabi ni Jesus Christ, kayo mga disciples, dapat itaas natin yung ating pagkaunawa tungkol sa sinasabi ko. Tungkol sa mga himala na aking ginagawa din. Alright? In other words, in this particular time, si Jesus Christ gusto niya na i-elevate itong mga disciples yung kanilang pagkaunawa sa mga physical na bagay lamang, yung kanilang desire na nakatuon lamang sa mga momentary blessings, sa mga financial blessings lang, kundi doon dapat ito on sa higher blessing which is spiritual in nature. Yun po yun. At syempre, sabi ni Jesus Christ para gawin yon sabi niya rito, in this, it is the Spirit who gives life. The flesh is no help at all. Wala mga, hindi nakatulong yung ating flesh. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. Now, gusto ko pong tingnan niyo rito yung shifting ng discussion ni Jesus. Sabi niya, nung una, diba, this is my body, bread of life, kainin ninyo, because it will bring life to you, eternal life. Siya yon katawan. Pero ngayon, sinif niya. From the bread of life, siya as bread, sinabi niya na ngayon, the word that I'm spoken to you, yung word na sinalita ako sa inyo, our spirit and life. From bread to the word. See this? I hope hindi po naiwan yung mga disciples. Naiwan yung mga disciples dito eh. Sinasabi ni Jesus Christ dito at this point in time, Hello mga friends. Yung sinasabi kong kainin yung katawan ko as a bread, that is not literal. It is metaphorical. Alright, metaphor yon. And so itong mga tao kasi literal na iniintindi yung sinasabi ni Jesus Christ. Kaya tuloy, literal nakakainin si Jesus. Inumin ang dugo niya. Hindi nila matake. Pero at this point in time, sinasabi ni Jesus Christ na, Okay, dahil nagkaagulo mga disciples, nagkaagulo na kayo, hindi yan literal. It is my word. Okay, they have spoken to you. So sinasabi niya na rito, na yung bread na sinasabi ko is metaphorical, it's actually the word. Salita. You know, remember that? Si John, alam na alam yan eh. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Himself, in Him was life. So, sinas- alam ni John, okay, na, oh nga, no, yung kakainin natin na bread is actually the Word of God. 
At si Jesus Christ kasi, yung Word of God is the Word. And so therefore, it is right for Him to say that feed on me. Kainan yung aking katawan. Because this is the Word. I am the Word. In other words, God is saying na when we feed, okay, the Word of God, when we feed Jesus Christ as the bread of life or we eat Jesus Christ, it means we're actually having a daily intake of the Word of God. So the bread of life is Jesus who is the Word. So to eat the bread means to have a daily intake of the Word. You see? So I hope, kayo po, hindi po tayo nalilito. Kagaya ng mga disciples noon. Diba? Litong-lito sila. Oh, grabe, kakainin natin si Jesus Christ. Nakakadiri yan. Sinong pwedeng makinig dyan? Alright? That is metaphorical. Sabi ni Jesus Christ, I am the Word. He is the Word according to John. And He's also the bread of life. And so therefore, to eat, The bread means to have a daily intake of the Word. Alright? I hope ngayon po, naunawa na, naunawa na po natin yan. So pag naunawaan po natin yan, type Amen naman po. Type Amen. O nga no, that's what Jesus Christ means. It's not literal. It's metaphorical. Now, but, this, but there are some of you who do not believe. Sabi ni Jesus. For Jesus knew from the beginning who, were, who did not believe and who, was, who it was who would betray Him. And he said, this is why I told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted by him, granted him by the Father. Ito na. Dinagdaga ni Lord tuloy yung offense ng mga tao. Sabi ko sa inyo dito, hindi kayo, hindi kayo makakalapit sa akin kung hindi kayo binigyan ng permiso ng aking amang nasa langit. If my Father will not grant you all right, to become close to me, then it's impossible. Siguro po, nung time na to, yung mga disciples na naman, Grabe ito talaga si Jesus Christ. Bumanat na naman, oh. Hindi raw tayo makalapit sa Kanya. Eh, samantalang kausap nga natin face to face, oh. Katabi, ta- katabi natin. Ikagrant pa tayo ng tatay niya sa langit. Grabe, labo, no? Hindi natin maunawaan. Kasi nga, ako nalang isip, andun lang po doon sa physical na pagkaunawa. On the surface value of the word. Not on the spiritual value. Now, yan po yung nangyari. Okay? <laughs> parang sa kanila, parang, Si Jesus, ang labo ni Jesus, no? Hindi na tayo makakalapit unless hindi tayo ka-grant ng Father. Eh, katabi nga natin. Labo niyan. Alright? And so, because of that, ano nangyari? After this, many of His disciples turned back and no longer walked with Him. Ito nakakalungkot. After that, many of His disciples turned back and no longer walked with Him. Kasi nga, hindi po nila maunawaan si Jesus Christ about what He's saying about Him as the bread of life. That we have to eat Him. Okay, feed on Him. Hindi nila naintindihan that this is actually metaphorical. He is the Word. So, what Jesus Christ is saying is that every day, dapat we have intake of the Word. Kumakain tayo. So, in other words, ang problema po sa mga disciples na to, they were close to Jesus Christ. They were near with Jesus Christ, but they're not actually close. Ano po ninyo, yung kasama nila si Jesus Christ, pinapakain sila, and yet, they failed to recognize who He was. Malungkot po dito sa simpahan, minsan may ganun din po, ano? Sa church may ganun din eh. Yung attend ng attend sa church, attend ng attend sa victory group, pero hindi pa rin naunawaan kung sino si Lord. Nakatingin pa rin pala doon sa physical blessing, sa temporary blessing. Kaya tuloy, kapag meron sila mga answered prayer, oh, I praise the Lord, sinagot ni Lord yung panalangin ko, oh, hallelujah! Okay, ganun. Pero pag hindi sinagot ni Lord yung, ano, yung, ble- yung prayer, Grabe, labo mo, labo mo Jesus, kanya-kanya na. Lahat naman, ginagawa ako, sumusunod naman ako, umatin naman ako ng service, umatin niya ako ng, ano, ng victory group. Pati nga sa kids church, umatin ako kahit pang bata yun eh. Okay, para lang mabless ako eh. Ganon. Pero dahil di mo naman si Jesus Christ, talikod na. And I hope wala sa atin ganon dito. Amen? Walang ganon. I believe lahat po tayo, nauunawaan natin si Lord. And if time comes, na hindi po natin maunawaan si Jesus Christ, kagaya po ng mga disciples, dahil, dahil hindi po nila maunawaan si Jesus Christ, tumalikod sila. My prayer is this, pag dumating po sa pagkakataon na hindi po natin maunawaan si Jesus Christ, wala po siyang sagot sa mga tanong natin, we will choose to stay. We will choose to believe. We will say, Lord, hindi ko man maunawaan ang sinasabi mo, hindi ko man maunawaan ang salita mo, I'm, I will choose to stay, I will choose to believe. And even if, hindi ko po makuha ang sagot sa dito sa mundong ito, I'll be excited to meet you face to face in heaven. Pag namatay ako at tatanungin ko sa inyo, 
At kung sakaling hindi ko pa rin maintindihan niyo, sagot niyo sa akin, kahit na nasa langit na ako, Lord, I will still praise you and honor you kasi at least kasama na kita. Amen? That should be our faith. Alam po rin napakarami pong mga mananampalataya na naging atheist na karamihan po doon talaga nag-aaral ng salta ng Panginoon. Nagdidig ng scripture. Kaya lang, nung wala na po silang makakit ang sagot, sa kanilang tanong, tumalikod na for them ang labo ni Jesus Christ. And so my prayer is that all of us will stay even if we sometimes can no longer understand what God is saying to us. By the way, that is faith. Faith is not just, you know, requiring us to understand everything. It's us believing in Jesus Christ. It's us putting our complete trust to Jesus Christ even though we don't understand Him. And so I pray that all of us will stick to Jesus Christ no matter what. And now, let's talk about Peter's understanding of who Jesus is. Yung mga disciples, meron silang misunderstanding. But Jesus, pero si Peter, kakaiba. So Jesus said to the twelve, Do you want to go away as well? Alis din ba kayo? Sabi ni Jesus Christ. Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Alam po ninyo, I commend Peter in this instance. Why? Kasi alam, na, alam, man po, alam naman po natin, si Peter, ang tayo pong mali-maling ginagawa. Ang daming sablay niyan, di ba? Kaya nga, nirebuke, nirebuke ni Jesus Christ once yan. Sabi, get behind me, Satan. Tinawag siyang Satan, di ba? Tapos nung si Jesus Christ uhulihin, tinagaan niya yung tenga, nung isang naguhuli. Okay? Tapos sinabi niya pa, ano, over my dead body, Jesus, ano, Lord Jesus, sasamahan kita. Pero three times, di ba, pinagkanulo niya si Jesus Christ. Naalala ko rin, nung pinalakad siya ni Jesus Christ sa tubig, lumakad siya, pero nakatingin sa ano sa alon, so lumubog siya. So hindi naman siya iniwanan ni Jesus, sa, hindi naman sinabi ni Jesus Christ na, oh, bahala ka na dyan. Saan dyan ka nakatingin eh? Hindi. Inahon pa rin siya, di ba? Nung, nung tinatuwa niya si Jesus, si Jesus Christ, tinatuwa niya for three times, restore niya pa rin. You see? Gusto ko lang sabihin sa ating lahat, no? Jesus Christ is not giving up on Peter as well as to you and to me. Jesus Christ is not giving up on you and on me. That's something that we have to be thankful for. Okay, Jesus Christ. So, salamat mo, you're not giving up on me. Kahit na mali-mali buhay ko, sablay-sablay ako. But, in this instance, tama si Peter. Sabi ni Peter dito, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Kita nyo na, si Peter, ang nangyari sa kanya, nakatingin na siya doon sa spiritual teachings ni Jesus Christ. Hindi na siya after doon sa tinapay. Hindi na siya after doon sa madaming isda. No, doon siya nakatingin kay Jesus Christ sa eternal blessing more than the physical blessing. Samantalang yung mga disciples sa na nagtalikuran, nakatingin sila doon sa physical blessings and so they cannot comprehend spiritual blessings. That's the difference between the disciples and Peter. Yung mga, si Peter po, tinalikuran niya yung mga, yung kanyang bangka, yung lambat, di ba? In other words, kaya nang tumaliko doon sa mga sa mga physical blessings. At kasi nga in-embrace niya yung spiritual blessing na sinasabi ni Jesus Christ na tinapay na masigit pa sa tinapay na kinain ng mga fathers nila in the wilderness. Isamantala mga disciples, tinalikuran nila yung spiritual blessings at in-embrace nila yung physical blessings, yung temporary blessings. My prayer is that all of us will be like Peter. Na Lord Kagaya po ng sinabi rin ni, ano, ni Paul, di ba? I consider everything rubbish here on earth. Mga physical blessing, rubbish yan compared to the surpassing knowledge of knowing who Christ is. I pray, Lord, na yun ang gustuhin namin yung pong aming pakanaisin. Iyan yung ginawa ni Peter. Okay? And, and then, sabi niya pa rito, and we have believed. Lord, naniwala kami sa iyo. Kaya nga, tinalikuran namin yung pangka namin, yung buhay namin natin, tinalikuran namin. And have come to know nakilala po namin kayo. Ano yung pagkakilala na kay Jesus Christ? That you are the Holy One of God. You are our Savior. You are our Lord. Nasa iyo po ang buhay namin. Praise God to that. No? Kaya tuloy yung 12, hindi po sila umalis kasama ng 5,000 because they believe Jesus Christ. At yun naman sinasabi ni Jesus Christ lang. Eh. Maniwala lang kayo sa akin. You will have this, 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 the life Okay? Buhay na walang hanggan. You see? And so, si Peter at uh, 12 disciples, naintindihan nila na itong sinasabi ni Jesus Christ, metaphor lang. And let me end with this. Bakit ba yung metaphor ni Lord is eating? Metaphor of eating. Ano yung mga yon? Kasi nga, alam niyo po yung eating, unang-una, it's nutritional eh. Nutritional. When we eat, 
Well, nagkakaroon tayo ng tradisyon, di ba? Kumakain po tayo, nagkakaroon tayo ng lakas. Remember, si Lord nabigay sa atin ng buhay, but for us to be sustained in our life, we need, you know, sustenance from the Word of God. Daily, ginakala po kumakain po tayo ng, you know, so that magkaroon tayo ng lakas. Sino po sa inyo rito, pa nagbabasa po tayo ng Bible, o nakaranig tayo ng salita, minsan hirap na hirap na po tayo, para magproblemado tayo, but because we listen to the Word, wow, lumalakas tayo bigla. That's nutritional. That's why sa Jesus Christ, eat the Word. Another, it is actually transformational. Sino po sa inyo rito nung kumakain tayo nung bata ka pa dahil marami ka na kumain, marami ka na kain, lumaki ka na. Ah, di ba lumaki na? No? Iba nga po sa atin, sa sobrang dami na kinakain, hindi lang lumaki, talagang tumaba pa. We are being transformed. You know, at iba, iba man po sa atin dito, kumakain ng sakto lang yung kailangan ko lang, kaya tuloy, slim. You see? So what am I saying is this, alam po ninyo, it's impossible, imposibleng hindi tayo baguhin ng salita ng Panginoon if we are eating on it daily, babaguhin talaga tayo ng salita ng Panginoon. Kaya ang iba po sa inyo rito, nagbago na. Di ba? Grabe, ibang iba na, napakalayo na po ninyo kumpara sa kung sino kayo noon. Nung hindi pa tayo kumakain ng salita ng Panginoon every day. It is transformational. Amen po ba? Another, it is actually personal. Personal po ito. In other words, Kakain po kayo ng salta ng Panginoon, pero personal, ikaw yon. Hindi pwedeng ako munguya, tapos lulukin mo. Kadiri yon, di ba? In other words, I cannot meditate for you. You cannot meditate for me. Kaya po sa atin, may mga tao po na nag-aaral ng salta ng Panginoon kasi iniisip yung kapilbahay nila. Alamin ko tong salta na to kasi nga, didibatihin ko siya eh. We're missing the point. Yung word po, Inaaral po natin yan so that it will actually be personal in us. Not for them, not for our brothers, not for our sisters, not for our loved ones. It's personal. So my prayer is that all of you, tayo lahat, we're going to have this daily devotion first and foremost to us. And lastly, it is daily. Araw-araw po yan. Araw-araw tayong kumakain, di ba? Iba nga po sa atin, meron pang midnight snack. Kaya nga, grabe yung paglobo ng katawan natin. But I hope Daily, we are feeding on Jesus Christ. We're feeding the bread, taking the bread of life because that will nourish us, sustain us, and definitely we're going to grow. We're going to be transformed into the image and likeness of our Lord Jesus Christ. And with that, I want to I wanna end here. To eat the bread of life is to have a daily intake of the Word that strengthens and transforms us to be the person saved for eternity. That is what we mean, and I believe that's what Jesus Christ mean when He said, feed on the bread of life. And He is the bread of life. And so, since we are bound to eternity, we are not fixated on material blessings dito sa ating paligid lamang. Tayo po'y nakatuon doon sa blessing na higit pa, sa tinapay na kinain ng ating mga forefathers in the wilderness, yung tinapay na nagbibigay ng buhay, it means we are reading the Word, meditating the Word, understanding the Word, and obeying the Word. It will become part of us. That's what, you know, something I like about eating is this. When we eat, yung kinakain po natin, nagiging part ng ating buhay. Sumusot po sa ating mga laman and all, di ba? Sa ating mga cells. It becomes one with us. And so, when we eat the Word of God, Jesus Christ Himself is the Word. He became, you know, part of our lives. And so like Paul, masasabi, po, masasabi rin po natin, it is no longer I who live, but it is Christ who live in me. Let us close in prayer. Lord, thank you for this wonderful time, Lord God, that we can partake of the Word, eat the bread, which is Lord God, gives us life, Lord. Hindi lang po life, Lord, it transforms us. It nourishes us, Lord God. Yung soul po, spirit po namin lumalakas because of that. Thank you, God, for making it clear to us that you are the bread of life. And we thank you for that, Lord, for allowing us to partake of that bread. In Jesus' name, amen. You know what? Talking about partaking of the bread. Well, gusto ko lang sabihin, hindi po ito yung communion. Okay, hey, hindi po yung communion na kakain tayo ng communion kasi nang ibig sabihin ni Jesus Christ, eh, we eat the bread. Hindi po ganun. Yung communion po na gagawin po natin ngayon in which I would like everybody to partake of this, join us, ito po ay sinabi ni Jesus Christ na gawin natin to remember Him upang alalahanin po natin 
yung ginawa ni Lord for us, yung kanyang buhay, on how He lived, on how He sacrificed and died, and on how He rose again. Okay? So, yun lang po yun upang alalahanin po natin siya. Hindi niya po sinabing maglagay kayo ng picture sa wallet niyo para alalahanin niyo ako. Hindi ganun. Alalahanin niyo ako through this communion. And today, we're going to do exactly as that. And so, I want to give you time. Get your bread. Get your communion elements. We're going to give thanks to God through this one. <clears throat> okay. Ito po si Jesus Christ. Um, when before he was crucified and died. He actually instituted this one, yung partaking of communion. And uh, sinabi niya sa mga disciples niya, alalahanin niyo ako through this. And si Paul, uh, because he knew that Jesus Christ would like him to be remembered through communion, siya po, sinulat niya rin po yan in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, starting in verse 23 to 26. Sabi po roon, di ba? Sabi ni Lord, For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you. Sabi po ni Paul, that the Lord Jesus on the night when He was betrayed took bread. And when He had given things, He broke it and said, This is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. So it's very clear that it's actually for us to remember our Lord Jesus Christ. So if you have your bread, lift it up. We're gonna pray. Lord, t- today, as we partake of the bread, Panginoon, we remember Your life, Your sacrifice. Lord, and Thank you for dying on the cross in our behalf. And Lord, thank you for you did not remain dead. Nabuhay po kayong muli upang bigyan po kami, Panginoon, ng pag-asa na kami man, mamamatay din kami. So, balit, Panginoon, hindi po kami mananatiling patay. Bubuhay niyo rin po kami, Panginoon, together with you because that is your promise. And Lord, as we partake of the bread, we remember that and we celebrate that, Lord. We celebrate the victory that you have made on the cross when you rose from the dead. Thank you, God. We honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Kainin po natin ang ating tinapay. In the same way, after, uh, after supper, he took the cup. <clears throat> and he says, This cup is the cup of a new covenant in my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. As often as you drink it in remembrance of me, for as often as you eat the bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. And so, we proclaim the Lord's death from the very beginning of our lives until we see Him once again, face to face, until He comes here on earth. As we partake of this cup, Lord, thank You that as we drink, From the cup, Lord, we, we know, Lord God, that we are all cleansed from all our unrighteousness and sins because of the blood, of your blood that was shed on the cross. And so, Lord, as we drink of this, Lord God, we declare that. And Lord, we are forever grateful for making us holy and righteous before you, God, before the eyes of our Father in heaven. Thank you, Lord. We honor you and praise you for that. In Jesus' name. Uminom po tayo sa ating mga asa or baso. Ang ating juice po, inumin po natin. Lord, thank you for that. Thank you, Lord, for dying the cross for us. Thank you, Lord, for choosing us, Lord God. For choosing eating and drinking, Lord God. As a symbol for us to remember you. And Lord, I hope by now, and I pray, Lord God, by now, that in the minds and the hearts of your people, alam nila na yung pagkain po ng tinapay, hindi po ito yung communion. Yung eating the bread, hindi po ito yung communion. Yung eating the bread that gives of life, it's actually eating the Word, having a daily intake of this in our lives. And so today, before we end, I think it's good for us to come together and worship the Lord. Tayo po yung umawit sa ating Panginoon. Let's praise God for a new beginning that has given us this year. Come, let's worship the Lord.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You know, that's our God. Hindi po tayo binibigo ng ating Panginoon. Dakila, tapat, ang kanyang pag-ibig, pagmamahal sa ating lahat. So if you are here, before I close this in prayer, if you are here, and gusto mo na maramdaman yung pag-ibig ng Panginoon sa buhay mo, na gusto mo na baguhin ka rin ang salta ng Panginoon, na maging iba ang iyong pagkatao, na magkaroon ka ng mas magandang pag-asa sa hinaharap, starting today, you know what? And you would like to have that, you know, assurance na ikaw man, balang araw, kung mamatay ka, ibubuhayin ka rin ng Panginoon to be with Him for the rest of your life towards eternity. You know, the only thing na kailangan natin gawin is manampala tayo tayo sa Panginoon. Tanggapin natin ang ating Panginoong Jesus bilang ating Panginoon at tagapagligtas ng ating buhay. If that's you, I want to lead you in this prayer. Just follow me in this prayer and I believe the Lord will hear you and listen to you with all the faith that you can get. Lord, sa oras po na ito, Panginoon, ako po'y humingi ng kapatawaran sa lahat po ng aking mga kasalanan na nagawa. And Lord, patawaran niyo po ako sa lahat po ng iyan. And God, binubuksan ko po ang aking buhay, ang aking buong puso, ang aking buong pagkatao. At sinusuko ko po ito sa inyo. Lord, Ikaw po ang dinideklara ko mula sa oras na ito bilang aking Panginoon Tagapagligtas. Jesus ang aking Diyos. Naniniwala ako sa aking buong puso na siya ay namatay para sa aking kasalanan at binuhay muli na magkagayon ako man ay magkaroon din ng buhay na walang hanggan. Salamat po sa pagsulat ng aking pangalan sa Aklat ng Buhay. We praise, I honor you for that, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the salvation that I have in you. Salamat po sa panibagong buhay na pinagkalob niyo sa akin sa oras na ito. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, Amen. You know, if you have prayed that prayer, I believe the Lord has listened to that. At in honor ni Lord ang iyong pananampalataya. And so we are glad and we're happy na ipaliwanag sa iyo ang desisyon na ginawa mo. We have lots of leaders joining us this morning. And so ilagay lang po ninyo, I pray that prayer. Ilagay po ninyo sa ating comment section, I pray that prayer. And our leaders will reach out to you. Okay? And so, For the rest of us, I hope that we are all blessed this morning. I hope na pinagpala po tayo ng ating Panginoon sa, sa, sa salita po ng Diyos na talaga namang nabib, nagbibigay po sa atin ng buhay. Iyan po ang tinapay na nagbibigay ng buhay sa atin. Iyan po yung salita ng ating Panginoon. Alright, and so, as we end, pagpalain po tayo ng ating Panginoon. Receive the Lord's blessing. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord lift His uh, face Um, may the Lord make His face shine upon you. May the Lord lift His countenance upon you. And I declare that the Lord will establish you with peace here in the land of the living. This I ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. All right, God bless you everyone. This is where we end our Hooray Saturday worship service. See you again next Saturday, mga kapwa ko, kasabadista. God bless you.